So today we are going to be tying a fly that I've actually just called the lazy pheasant. And the reason being is that it's just a pheasant tail that is just super quick and easy to tie. Um, takes out some of the more niggly parts of a full on properly done pheasant tail. But I find this fly actually pretty effective. So you're going to need a pheasant tail. This here is a jig superb it's a Hannock Jig Superb hook with, I believe, a 3mm copper tungsten bead. And we're also going to need pheasant tail. We're going to need this. Th these are nymph dubbing brushes, which uh, you'll be able to get pretty much most fly tying shops. And this is in the colour Light Camel Brown. And those are the only two materials that we need and then we've got what we need to tie it. So you just want to cut yourself about, I don't know, just a normal amount of pheasant tail. I don't even, I've never really sat down and counted strands. Probably two, four, six, seven or eight strands of pheasant tail if you're one for counting. Another important part of this fly actually is that I'm using nano silk as the thread and I'll explain shortly why that's important. So just tie in that tail, there we go, try to get it to spray out nicely. I do like to try and pay a little bit of attention to the kind of tail that I get, because I think it's actually a pretty important part of a fly's imitation. So, and now we just come back down the hook like that, reinforce it all down here a bit. Down we go. So you're just going to leave that thread there. And so we're skipping the copper step. And this pheasant tail, no copper, no wire ribbing. And importantly, you wrap the pheasant tail towards yourself. Keep on going down, I like to give it more than enough. And since we've skipped the wire ribbing stage, and this is why it's important that this nano silk's used, because it's a really strong thread. So since we've skipped that, our thread actually now becomes our ribbing. And you'd think it would look terrible, but it actually does still give it a slightly segmented look. And it does the job that the copper does of reinforcing that pheasant tail so if it gets nicked it's not just going to completely fall to bits and you get down to the pheasant tail there and you tie that up and now still using the same bit of pheasant tail bring that up just so that's sitting to ready go ready to go for the next part we're going to get this these dubbing brush tied in so again with the lazy theme it's just a little bit quicker and I think it looks pretty good it's a bit quicker than peacock curl so this has like a wire in the middle of it that you just you pick off the outside dubbing and that wire becomes exposed and we just tie that in Continue around with some wraps for our thorax. I like to do quite a healthy amount of wraps. I actually do give this a bit of a trim up shortly. Tie that down. Cut it off. Grab the bit of pheasant tail that we had before. Actually at this stage I do like to give this bit a bit of a trim that I'm not going to be able to trim later once I put that over. Cut 
trim that. Bring your fizzer tail over for the thorax. The wing case, sorry. Tight thread wraps. If you want to just add a little thing, you can actually end up turning these into legs, wrapping them around side by side. But since I am tying these when I just want to smash out a whole lot of flies in one night and don't want to do a full on pheasant tail, um, I don't actually really worry about that. And then a couple of whip finishes. And then head cement, which I would put on at this stage. But I'm sure you all know how to put the head cement on, so I won't go over that step. And I then just like to give it a bit of a trim. Don't want it to look too scraggly. And there we go. So that there is a fly that it skips a few steps on a regular pheasant tail, but you can smash one of those out in like one to two minutes. It's um, there's only two materials involved: one piece of pheasant tail, and it's actually a really quick, convenient fly to tie. That's super effective, if not as effective as a regular pheasant tail. And it's got a bit of weight in it, it's got a bit of everything, got a bit of flash, a bit of UV in that nymph brush. And you can also play around with the thorax. So you can, I use that nymph brush, you can use peacock hill, you can use any kind of dubbing. Yeah, so hopefully that's a fly that will be of practical use to you. It's not definitely not the prettiest fly in the world, but it is a fly that you can just smash out and then catch a lot of fish on. So hopefully this video has been of use. Drop a like and subscribe for more videos coming up. I will be out on the water doing some more fishing videos shortly. But thanks very much for watching. Cheers.